Hi, this is Sam from Core Yoga. So today's foundation flow is all about shoulders. Of course, we're gonna work the rest of the body, the legs, the core, but really after spending the last few weeks really tuning in to some fine detail, today I just wanted to give you an opportunity to work a little bit of releasing and particularly the space around the head and the shoulders, um, giving us a little bit of challenge at the moment as we live lives from our home. Um, you're gonna start on the mat now in child's pose. So just come to a nice comfortable child's pose. Know that you can prop your child's pose if you want to by putting a blanket or a, um, a block underneath your bum and or lifting your hips a little bit to allow the head to come down to the floor. So wherever you're comfortable, find your comfortable child's pose with extended arms and allow the forehead to rest on the floor or on something so that you can take the tension out of the back of the neck. You're not having to hold the head anywhere. And just allow your body a couple of moments to arrive to the space. Feel the physical body and tuning into that physical body, allowing yourself to notice the more subtleties within the practice. So today's focus is all about releasing tension in the neck and the shoulders. So just take a couple of moments, tune into that physical space and notice how that's feeling this morning. When we spend elongated periods of time with our head over a device or a laptop, or sitting in a chair at a table that's not the appropriate height, we create a lot of unwanted tension in this space. So my objective for you is really to get all of this space moving, to hydrate it. From here, you're going to inhale as you walk your hands a little further forward. Press the fingers down and lift the palms. Now feel like you're gripping the mat with your fingertips. We're starting to bring some activation into the space now. So just because we're working at moving, mobilizing and releasing doesn't mean we're not going to be working the muscles as we would ordinarily in my practice. Take a breath into the front of the chest. And then as you exhale, lift your head and slowly walk your hands over to the right. Take a breath in, keep the hands like cupcake, and as you exhale, allow the head to drop down. Now draw a breath wide into the side body, and as you exhale, push the left hand down and away from you as you draw the left hip a little closer to the left heel. So we're getting as much length as we can in this side body before we even start moving. And then inhale, walk the hands back to the center. Do the same thing on the other side. So walking the right hand all the way out to the right and then allowing the head to drop down. So now the head is unlikely to be on the floor and that's okay. So now we're pressing the right hand into the floor, breathing into the right side of the body, creating some length in this right side. And then exhale, come back to the center, coming to all fours, press into your hands and bring your knees underneath your um, hips. A couple of rounds of cat cow. Close the eyes, inhale, drop the belly, open through the chest, look up to the sky. And as you exhale, push the floor away from you and tuck your chin. So just notice how the body is feeling, what feels open, what feels spacious, what feels tense, what feels tight, with no real judgment, just observing right now how this body feels. So when we get to the back end of the practice, we'll do this movement pattern once again, and we'll notice how it feels then. From here, the last time you exhale, push the floor away from you, tuck the chin, and then inhale back to a neutral spine. Bring the toes together, lift up your right foot, and bring your right ankle right into the arch of your left foot. So your right knee is a little further back. And then slowly guide your bum to sit on your heels or on a cushion underneath uh, um, your bum. 
From here, bring your air, inhale, bring your hands to the sky, look up. And then exhale, palms together in the heart space. Inhale, elbows out wide and open through the chest. And then exhale, draw your left elbow on top of your right. So either um, back of the palms push together or you take eagle arms. From here, tuck the chin a little, squeeze the elbows and lift the elbows. And then feel like the forearms are squeezing towards one another. Draw the forearms to the left as you take the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then breathe into wherever you're feeling the tension in your body. Now from here in my body, sometimes I like to play around. So feel free just to move the head if you want to find that sweet spot. And then we just hold it here. Allowing the hips to feel heavy, releasing some tension in the plantar fascia right at the other end of the body at the same time as we're releasing tension right up in this neck and this shoulder area. As you exhale, unwind, just give your shoulders a nice roll. And then walk your hands towards the front of the mat, undo your legs, lift up your hips, downward facing dog. So first downward facing dog, just take time to bend or turn the knees. It doesn't need to be your neatest, your most engaged downward facing dog. We're just opening up the lower body. So just because we're focusing on the shoulders doesn't mean we forget about the rest of the body. We're just bringing our attention to releasing some congestion in the neck and the shoulders that might have built up over the last seven weeks or so. And then from here, bend your knees, bring your knees back to the floor. And this time you're going to take your left knee back a little bit, bring your left ankle and place it right in the arch of the foot. So not too far up, not too far down, but right in the arch of the foot. And then slowly sit back onto your heels. So this can feel pre pretty challenging. But we're going to bring our attention to the upper body. So just allow all that to soften and settle. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky and look up. And then exhale, palms together in the heart space. Inhale, open the elbows out wide. And exhale, this time right elbow on top of left. Eagle arms or back of the palms towards one another. And just take a moment, settle in, tuck the chin. Squeeze the elbows together. And then raise the elbows a little bit. Feel that create a little bit more space in the back of the shoulders. And then from here, you're going to tilt the forearms towards the right. And then draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. And then breathe into that right side. So maybe move around with the chin a little bit so that you find that sweet spot. And maybe just for your own benefit, but observe the difference between right and left. I know in my physical body, I hold way more tension on my right side. So when I know that and I do stretches like this, I'll spend a little more time on this side, allowing the body to really get into that space than I might on the other side. And this is a class, we're pretty even from side to side, but when you take it to your own mat, then you can really spend that time with your body in different ways. As you exhale, slowly release it. Walk your hands forward, undo your feet, tuck under your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. So from here, this time in downward facing dog, stillness in the legs, but give the legs a bit of give. Bend those knees a little bit. As the knees are bent, you can lift the sit bones a little higher and then slowly drop the heels towards the floor. Inhale, travel the shoulders forward, high plank. And then exhale, lift the hips downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forward, high plank. Exhale, downward 
Downward Dog. One more like that. Inhale to High Plank. And exhale, push the floor away from you. Lift your hips. A little bit of tension and strength for the shoulders there. Slowly walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Allow your head to hang heavy. And then from here, soften the knee so it's a comfortable forward fold. So depending on your physical body or what you've been doing so far today, you can have a deep bend or a soft bend. But make sure there's a little gift. Bring the hands behind you and just interlace the fingers. So you're not going to make a fist. The fist is going to be open, but the fingers are interlaced. So it's a little more like a cradle with your hands. And then as you inhale, draw that cradle up towards the sky. And as you exhale, allow the head to hang heavy. Allow that cradle to draw towards the floor. Now, if this feels really, really uncomfortable and compressive in the back of the shoulders, you're simply going to bring your hands to your lower back. And then many times we'll go into this place, this um, class, and that's your variation. That just gives the shoulder blades a little more space. It's not because you don't have necessarily the length in the muscles. It can also be because of the shape of your shoulder blades and how they're just drawing towards one another and crashing into each other. And the body won't allow them to go any further. So taking one more breath here, and then inhale, release the hands, press them into the shins and halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. And exhale, palms together in the heart space. Half salutations, but with this variation. So we'll do three so you get used to the movement. The first one you might be like, why am I putting everything? Remember, if this doesn't work for your body, this is where you bring your hands. It still gives you that sense of space in the front of the shoulders without those scapula crashing in towards one another. Inhale, reach the hands up, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards, bring the hands behind your back. Inhale, lift up halfway again, extending the arms behind you. Exhale, forward fold. From here, inhale, reach the hands right up to the sky. Then exhale, palms together in the heart space. Two more like that. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Exhale, folding forwards, interlace. Inhale, halfway you lift, pull those hands back. Exhale, fold forwards, release the back of the neck. Inhale, press the floor away, lift the hands to the sky, and exhale, palms together. Inhale, linking breath with movement now. Exhale, fold forwards, hands behind you. Inhale, halfway you lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands towards the floor. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. And exhale, palms together into some lunges, opening up the hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards normally this time. Inhale, press the hands into the shins and halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right leg back, right knee down, stay here. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forwards to your high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your thighs, your belly, your chest. Baby cobra, inhale just a little way. Exhale, push the floor away from you. Downward facing dog. Inhale, bring both knees to the floor. Exhale, right foot forward, help if it needs it. Stay here, inhale, open the chest, runner's lunge. Exhale, set the left foot forward and fold. Inhale, press the hands into the shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. Exhale.
exhale, soften the knees and fold. Regular Anjaneyasana this time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky, look up. Exhale, hands down to dog. Inhale, shoulders to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, both knees to the floor. Exhale, left foot forward, helping if it needs it. Inhale, reach the hands up, gaze to those thumbs. Exhale, hands down, right foot to join the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. And exhale, palms together. Second round, inhale with some twists. Exhale, soften the knees and fold it forwards. Inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale, right leg back, right knee and hand stay down. Inhale, lift the left hand to the sky. Exhale, derotate down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. This time, hands behind you. Inhale, just the upper body, half locust. Exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog. This time, option to inhale, raise the right leg. Then exhale, step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee, left hand down. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, left foot forward to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. Exhale, soften to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot back. This time, leave that left knee lifted. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale to the floor. Half locust, just upper body. Inhale to lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Option to inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Right knee stays lifted. Inhale, left hand to the sky. Exhale, derotate right foot to join the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. And exhale, close the eyes, bring the palms together in the heart space. Feel and continue that rhythm of breathing. So despite what we start to focus on in the standing sequences, we're going to maintain this lovely rhythm of breath. In some poses, we'll hold for about five breaths. In other poses, we'll just use it as a transition from one pose to another. Take a breath in. A blink of the eyes open, bring your hands by your side. Inhale, sit your hips, chair pose. As you exhale, extend the arms wide to the right. Then inhale, back to chair pose. Exhale, extend the arms to the left. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. One breath in plank. Exhale, knees, thighs and belly down. Either hands to lower back or interlace fingers. Half locus again, but this time it's bound as you inhale. Exhale, release it, hands down. Downward facing dog. 
Walk your feet about a foot's distance closer to your hands. And then press the right hand down and bend the right knee. Release the left hand and take it to the outside edge of your right shin. And then as you inhale, swap the bends in the knee. So left knee bends and right leg straight. Left elbow draws towards left knee and turn your head underneath your right arm. So from here, we're getting a nice stretch into the back of the shoulders, release the tension in the head and the neck. Don't let it be controlled, just let that go. One more breath here. As you exhale, release it. Step back to your regular downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forwards to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. This half bound locust. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog. Then inhale, raise the right leg to the sky, look to the space between your hands. As you exhale, try and get your right foot there, but if it doesn't make it, just help it along its way. Ground the back foot parallel with the back of the mat, warrior two. I'm gonna turn around so that I'm in the right position for the camera, but you stay just where you are. So from here in your warrior two, bring your right elbow on top of your left. Just like we did in the warm-up, tuck the chin, squeeze the elbows, raise the forearms. From here, the forearms are going to tilt to the right and the left ear towards the right shoulder. Stay strong in your warrior. Breathe into the right side of your neck, the back of your shoulders. Stay with it. So we continue that even rhythm of breath. As we observe that breath and the sensations in the physical body. As you inhale, release all of that warrior two. Exhale, hold it here. Flip your palms and feel your shoulders draw down your back a little. Keep that turn the palms back. Take a breath. Inhale, and exhale. One more here in warrior two, inhaling, and exhale. This time as you inhale, swerve your left arm underneath you and your right hand past your right ear, reverse warrior. And then we exhale back to warrior two and then the arms do the same thing. Inhale in the other direction. And exhale. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle variation. And exhale to two. One more on each side. Inhale, feel that right side of the body. And exhale. Inhale, feel that left side of the body. And exhale. Inhale, windmill the hands, hands either side of the right foot, step your right foot back to the back of the mat, high plank. Take a breath in, exhale, lower all the way to the floor. You just arms here, inhale, half bound locust, pull the belly from the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet about a feet um, distance further towards your hands. Then bend the left knee, bring the right hand and take it to the outside edge of the left shin. Push the left hand into the floor. Slowly swap the bend of your knee. Right elbow draws towards right leg. Left heel towards the floor. Turning the chest, the head underneath the left arm. Breathing into the back of the shoulders, but release the tension in the back of that neck. And then exhale, release it, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg to the sky, look to the space between your hands. Exhale, that left foot forward, help it if it needs it. And then inhale as you find your way into your warrior two. Then warrior two, just take a moment, set it up. 
And then bring her left elbow on top of right. Garandasana arms, eagle arms. Tuck the chin a little. Lift the elbows, squeeze the forearms. Then drop the forearms to the left and the right ear, um, ear to the right shoulder. Breathe into that space. Feel that sense of using the breath to A, focus your practice and to B, give you some more space. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands, warrior two. In warrior two, flip the palms, feel those shoulders draw down the back, keep them there, turn the hands back. Warrior two, nice and strong, breathing here. So not only are we creating space around the shoulders, but we're also creating an element of strength. From here, as you inhale, right hand cups underneath you, left hand past your left ear. And as you exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale to this variation of side angle, and exhale to two. Inhale, feel that lift, and exhale, return. Legs stay stable. Inhale, movement is in the shoulders. And exhale, one more on each side. Inhale, feel the left side of the body. Exhale to return. Inhale, feel the right side of the body. And exhale to return. Inhale, windmill the hands. Step the left foot back, high plank. Take a breath in in your high plank. And then exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Half bound locust. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands either side of your chest. Downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look to your thumbs. Just step, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway you lift. Exhale, forward you fold. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky and look up. And exhale, palms together. From here, bring the hands behind you, here to your lower back or interlace them. As you inhale, sit low into chair, but bring the hands behind you. As you exhale, sit even lower, draw the chest onto the thigh. Keep the back of the neck strong. So don't allow the head to drop or the head to lift. The head is just an extension of the spine. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, straighten the legs, fold it forwards. Feel the top of the arms. And like they're trying to pull apart from one another, create a sense of tension there and notice what that happens. So often it's not just about creating length, but it's about creating strength to allow us some more length. From here, one more breath, then exhale, release your hands to the floor. Inhale, press the hands into the shins. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, all the way to the floor. This time, bring the inside edges of the feet together. Inhale, raise the head and the chest, bound locust, then exhale, raise the feet as well. Take one inhalation breath here, and then exhale, down dog. So if that hurts your lower back, just keep the feet on the floor. Inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee and open up the hip. So this is scorpion dog, take a breath here. As you exhale, derotate, step the right foot forward. So warrior one, look at the back foot, turn it to 45 degrees and bring the right heel to the floor. Then inhale into warrior one, remembering that that chest and those hips don't have to face the front. So you just draw them towards the front of the mat until they stop and you stay there. Then inhale, raise your gaze between the palms. 
Exhale, bring the palms together in the heart space. Inhale, bring the hands behind you, interlace. Exhale, draw the hands down towards the back heel. Then inhale, extend the chest forward, then the hands back. Feel that sensation as you try and draw those upper arms apart from one another and then let the head drop and let the arms travel over that front thigh. So that chest doesn't have to be on the front thigh, it can be moving towards it. It doesn't have to be on the front thigh, it can be on the inside of it. That doesn't feel nice in my hips when I go there, so this is the way I practice the pose. But you just find what feels good for your body. As you exhale, release your hands to the floor, either side of your right foot, and lift up your left heel. Step the left foot a tiny bit further forward. So from here in this right leg, we're just going to get a little bit of strength. Press the right foot into the floor as you exhale, lift the left leg. So this is standing splits. Then you'll notice that my legs are not anywhere near what splits would look like, and that's totally cool. I want to feel this sense of grounding of the right foot down and this sense of lifting of the left leg high. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bend this right knee again. That will drop that left foot back towards the floor. Drop the left knee down, left hand to the mat. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Flip that right palm. Exhale, bring the right hand behind you to the um, outside edge of your left hip. And then just hold it here. So looking to the sky might not feel nice in your neck. So just look to where it feels nice. Feel that sense of breath traveling into that shoulder space, creating some more length right now in the front of this chest. And then as you exhale, derotate. Step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forwards to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. So this time, option, bound for locust. Inhale, reach the hands back, raise the feet, bring the inner edges of the feet together. Then exhale, let it go. Downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend and open that left hip. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, derotate, left foot steps forward. So remember warrior one. We're going to turn the right foot at 45 degrees. We're going to press into the feet and inhale, lift the hips. We're going to turn the hips until they stop. And that's where we stay. So my chest and my hips are pretty much facing the right diagonal corner of my mat, if it's hard to see on the camera here. And then from here, as you exhale, bring the palms together in the heart space. Bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, push the right heel in the floor as you extend your chest forwards towards your front thigh. So you stop when your body says stop. And then as you exhale your next breath, feel those upper arms draw apart from one another. You take it as deep as your body wants to deep, go, and then release the tension in the back of the neck. So feeling that sense of control through the pose, no tension in those muscles in the neck. Drawing the upper arms apart to create some more length in the front of the chest. And then exhale, release the hands to the floor either side of the left foot. Lift up the right heel, look at that left foot. As you exhale, like you're trying to push the floor away from you, straighten the left leg. Lift the right leg up towards the sky, standing spits. So once again, head is chilled, neck is chilled, but left leg's working hard and right leg's working hard. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly bend that left leg until the right foot touches the floor, then bring the right knee down. Right hand down and inhale, lift the left hand to the sky. Flip the left palm and then bring the left hand to the outer edge of the right hip. And then gaze where it feels nice in your neck. Take breaths into the front of the chest. So getting some twist here also, releasing tension in other parts of the body, 
with our predominant focus on these shoulders. Take a breath in. As you exhale, do your take. Hands to the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Then inhale, travel forwards to high plank. And then exhale all the way to the earth. Take a couple of moments, bring your hands underneath your forehead and just allow yourself a moment to soften and rock those hips from side to side. So we're gonna do three uh, back bends now. We're either gonna take locus like we've been working our way to, or we have the option to take bow pose. If you come into bow pose and it doesn't feel nice on your back, or it's a real struggle to get your feet, then locust is the pose for you. It's not necessarily about the shape that we make, but creating some strength in the back body to create length in the front, and getting some nice space for those shoulders. So from here, we're gonna start off with locust, whatever. This time, feet are hip distance apart. Bring your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. Inhale, draw the hands back, raise the feet, raise the chest, stay here. So we've got five breaths like this. Feeling the back of the neck, lifting the head up towards the sky. Feeling the back body work here. Not allowing the belly to press into the floor. And then exhale, release it, let it go. Hands to the mat, head on your hands. A little sway of that hip from side to side. So two more, either exactly the same, or perhaps you want to try bow pose and see what it feels like. In which case we're going to bend the knees and draw the heels towards the bum. So we get into it in exactly the same way as we try and get into locust. From here, bring your hands behind you. Inhale, lift your head and your chest. Reach your hands to your feet, make a connection. And then as you exhale, press those feet into the hands, look at the top of your mat. So it's really tempting to look forward and up in this pose, but there's no need to compress those vertebrae in the back of the neck. Good, and so breathing here. If you're like me and then you're feeling a little tight in the quadriceps, you'll feel that here too. As you exhale, release it, hands to the mat, Head on the hands, rock the hips from side to side. So one more, your choice, locust or bow pose. Finding that sense of using the strength to come into the pose rather than yanking yourself into it. If we yank ourselves into it, likely we're more open to hurting our body as we do that. So bend your knees, bring your hands behind you, or keep your legs straight. Inhale, raise your head and your chest, take your bind. And then exhale, push the floor away from you. Nice. So feel that sense of pushing the ankles into the hands and pulling back. And breathing into the front of the chest. So glutes are on here. Hamstrings are on here. Back of the shoulders are on. And then as you exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to the floor. Either keep your knees bent and rock your feet from side to side, or just roll and rock those hips from side to side, whatever feels nice. And then extend the legs out in front of you. Take a couple of breaths here. As you exhale, concentrate on letting go of tension around the neck and the shoulders. So you're just using that conscious visualization of letting go to encourage that space to let go. And then from here, bring your hands either side of your chest, press into your hands and come to all fours. And then from all fours, Bring the knees mat distance apart to nice and wide and the toes to meet. So you're gonna feed the left arm underneath the right arm as you come into a child's pose. You can have your left ear down or your forehead to the floor. And then your right hand's just gonna reach behind you towards your left hip with the palm facing out, up. And so just allowing the body to soften and settle here. 
You might well feel the stretch across the top of the left arm as well as into the back of the shoulder. And just allow the body to settle. So three more rounds of breath here, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Nice. One more breath, inhale. And then use the out breath to bring the right hand back to the floor, press into the um, right hand, lift up the left. So same thing, other side, right arm reaches right underneath you, forehead to the mat or right ear to the floor, and then left hand, palm facing away from you to the right hip. And then breathing into the back of the shoulder. So to create more of a stretch in the top of the right arm, I find it quite nice just to press the right arm into the floor a little and draw the right shoulder towards, away from that um, elbow. So getting a nice stretch into the top of the shoulders as well as the front of the arm, the outer side of the arm. And continue to breathe here, just a couple more rounds of breath this side. And then using the out breath to reach the left hand forward, pressing into your hands. Come to all fours, draw the knees just underneath the hips and take the feet so that they're in line with the knees. Extend your hands forward for puppy pose, allowing the chin or the forehead to reach towards the floor. And then if the elbows come down, then allow them to come down, but don't force them to get there. If the chin feels wrong on the floor, bring the forehead to the floor. Just allow the belly to soften. Continuing that rhythm of breath. Take one more round. And then slowly guide the hands back underneath the shoulders, just like we did at the beginning. A few rounds of cat-cat. Close the eyes. Inhale, drop the belly open through the chest. Exhale, push the floor away from you and tuck your chin. Just notice what you notice in the body. Maybe it feels a little more fluid. Maybe those spaces of tension have softened a little. And then from here, you're going to come all the way to lie on your back for the last couple of poses. So allow yourself to bend your knees, bring the feet in front of the hips, and just lying down on your back, extend the right leg up to the sky. Bring your hands behind your thigh, and then slowly extend the left leg out in front of you. Keep the back of the pelvis on the floor. A little bit, press that left heel into the floor, the right heel towards the sky. Slowly draw the toes towards the shin and take a breath. As you exhale, bend the right knee, guide the right knee over to the left, reach the right arm out to the side, twist. Allow the body to soften and settle. Continue that beautiful, even pattern of breath. And then inhale back 
to the center, right foot to the floor, left knee towards you, just realign your pelvis, your spine, if you need to extend that left foot up to the sky, hands behind your hamstring. Slowly as you exhale, extend the right leg, a gentle pressure of the right heel into the floor, gentle pressure of the left heel to the sky, toes towards your shoulder. slowly bend that left knee, bring your right hand to the outer edge of the left knee, guide the left knee over to the right, the left arm out to the left, look over the left shoulder, spinal twist on the other side. Allowing the breath to travel wide into the body. slowly bring yourself back to the center. Press both feet into the floor just so you can straighten up the body and then either keeping the knees bent and the feet mat distance apart or extending the legs out in front of you. Turn the palms up, face the sky. Take a breath in. As you exhale, feel the weight of your shoulders sink into the mat. Breath in. As you exhale, feel the back of your neck soften. Let go. Good. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release the tension in your jaw and in the temples. Good. And allow the breath to return to its natural ebb and flow. Allow the body to be heavy and supported. Allow the mind to softly watch the breath. Just to be attentive to the coming and the going, the rising and falling of the chest and the belly. We're going to stay here for about 30 more seconds. like to stay longer, please do. Next time you breathe in, make it deep and make it long. And as you exhale, bring movement to your fingers and your toes. Of course, if you're staying here, just stay. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And rock yourself to one side. Press yourself up. Come find a comfortable seat. And bring the palms together in the heart space. Feel the back of the skull. A little bit draw it back. A little bit tuck the chin. Allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. Feel the heart space drawing towards the thumbs. 
Thank you for taking time to practice and learn with me today. Namaste.